So let's call this to solve any problem involving involving acceleration, force, etc. So there are five steps and your first step is to draw a free body diagram. Your second step is to establish a coordinate system. I need to know which way X is and which way Y is. Third step, resolve any vectors. that are not in X or Y. And once you resolve those vectors that are not in the X or Y direction, you're going to, well, you're going to use the components of the vectors that you resolved rather than the vectors that you resolved in the future of the problem. You're gonna have only X direction motion or Y direction motion. We call those directions normal to each other or orthogonal because they're not dependent on each other. They are, strictly speaking, completely apart from each other. And the fourth step is the most important step, and this is where a lot of students draw a blank. You've done this, and this is kind of automatic. Then you need to apply Newton's second law. In X and Y, to create Two equations. That's the most fun step because you're actually creating the physics of the problem by applying Newton's second law. F is M A. Number five. You need to do algebra. So let's get an example of that going. <clears throat> 